What's up blooms? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting ready to wash my hair and I have some new products here. One of them I haven't used in years so does that still count as new or new-ish? Anyways, I'm about to wash my hair and I wanted to show y'all the products that I'm using and also let you know my thoughts on them. First, I'm going to hop into the shower to drench my hair with warm water. If you're new to my channel, I have low porosity hair and I like to use warm water when I wash, style, and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the shower. And when I come back, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to cleanse and deep condition. y'all so I just got back from wetting my hair it is very very drenched which is exactly what I'm looking for especially because of the product that I'm going to be using next so I really didn't feel like making a DIY clay mask today I wanted to just pick up something that was already made but filled with good ingredients so today I'm gonna be using the Terra black clay in Maki berry clay wash from chocolate kinks and curls <laughs> I actually picked this product up when I went to the Hua Fair last year and I'm now getting to it. Y'all, my stash is... I'm working my way through it but like there's still a lot of new products that I haven't even opened yet and this is one of them. So if you're not familiar with Chocolate Kings and Curls, they're a black woman owned company that makes Ayurvedic clay washes and other goodies. It smells not too earthy i'm getting a little bit of berry extract in there it smells a little bit like berries to me of course in the name there's maki berry so that's what i'm picking up it smells really really good and this is what the product looks like it has a thick consistency but i'm hoping that it goes on pretty well my hair is drenched and ready for application and like i said i didn't want to make a clay mask this time around maybe in my next wash day i'll go ahead and make up something on my own but for today i'm just going to grab this product right here to see if it helps to cleanse and detoxify my hair taking a generous amount of the clay First of all, this texture feels so soft, y'all. It feels really, really good. And now I'm going to apply it to my hair. I'm getting a good amount of slip from this clay. It feels so soft. This feels really good. It feels like butter. Okay, so I'm going to apply this to the length of my hair. I'm not gonna forget my scalp just to actually get in there and rub the product in. So I just applied the clay mask to this section of my hair. I'm just doing a quick scalp massage to really make sure that the clay is getting on my scalp because I have a lot of buildup. I haven't washed my hair since a week or two, so I'm trying to make sure that I take care of my scalp. But y'all, for my first impression of this clay, it goes on really, really well. Like, I wish you guys can feel just how soft this clay is so soft like it feels like i just want to touch it i just want to keep playing with it i just want to grab it out the jar like i don't want to be wasteful but at the same time this feels so good that i just want to play with it um so yeah <laughs> it feels really really nice and it applies really well and y'all can see that i'm just gliding it through the way it's gliding right now that is pretty impressive. So something that I feel like helped with this application is the fact that I started out with really really wet hair. When you're applying something like a clay mask or any type of product in general, you want to make sure depending on the style or whatever you're doing in your wash day, if it's shampooing to conditioning, start off with wet hair like no matter what your hair type is whether you're a type 3 or type 4 low porosity high porosity 
Start with wet hair because you will find that the application process will go a lot smooth if your hair isn't dry. As far as I know with natural hair, the wetter your hair is when you're starting off a style, when it comes to wash day, the better the application will be. So I don't know if it's the combination of how drenched my hair is, but this clay mask applied really, really well. And so far, I'm really liking it. It smells really good, it has good ingredients, it has slip, and the only thing I'm going to wait and see is after I rinse it out to see if my scalp is as cleansed as you know the product says. So yeah, right now I'm just going to finish this side and then I'm gonna let it sit in my hair for a few minutes and then show y'all what my hair looks like. But so far y'all, I am really, really liking this clay mask. And if you've used this before, let me know what you think of it and let me know what you think of the ingredients and everything. So I just got done applying the clay mask all over. I have a good amount left. I think I have about two, maybe three washes with this. I was heavy handed with this product, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was very, very heavy handed. Only because, like, I really loved the application. Like, it felt really good. Like, I probably didn't need as much as I used, but... I couldn't help myself. It felt really nice going on. So yeah, I have that all over my hair now. I'm going to let the clay mask sit in my hair for about 20 minutes, then go ahead and rinse that off. And after I rinse out the clay mask, I'm going to deep condition. Not only was I going to deep condition just because it's wash day, but also this product says to deep condition afterwards. So you want to pay attention to that when you're using a new cleanser or a new shampoo. Definitely check the directions to see if it says to follow up with a deep conditioner. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do after that. And for my deep conditioner today, I'm using an OG deep conditioner in the natural hair community. When I say OG, when I first went natural or a couple of years into my natural hair journey, I've heard a lot about this deep conditioner in particular. Like this deep conditioner, I kind of feel like everybody was swearing by it. If your hair wasn't feeling good, if it wasn't looking the best, this deep conditioner was raved on by a lot of the naturals in the community. So yeah, I actually, I feel like I used this deep conditioner maybe once. I've been natural for eight years eight years this year and I think I only maybe use this product once but I don't know that's why in the beginning I said this is like a new ish product because I don't remember if I used it or not and let me know down below which deep conditioner do you think I'm talking about let me know your guesses for an OG deep conditioner but yeah y'all the one that I'm going to be using today after I rinse out my clay mask is from TGIN this is their honey miracle hair mask y'all I heard so many good things about this product in my natural hair journey and I went to TJ Maxx the other day and they actually had this product in their hair section or hair care section y'all if you have a marshall's or tj maxx in your area don't sleep on the hair care section they've been having a lot of natural hair products some brands like pattern myel even tgin now shea moisture like they're they're getting a lot of natural hair brands that we're familiar with i think i've even seen alake naturals in some of those stores so yeah i went to tj maxx the other day and i saw this deep conditioner and i had to get my hands on it so when i come back from renting out the clay mask i'm going 
going to show you guys how I use this product and give you my thoughts on it. All right, y'all. So it's been over 20 minutes with the clay mask and this is what my hair is looking like. It's not completely, you know, when you use clay masks like the bentonite clay or something similar, your hair is super hard afterwards. My hair doesn't feel like that right now. It's still very soft. It still has some moisture to it. So I'm curious to see how this rinses out, how my scalp is going to look. But yeah, this is over 20 minutes. And I didn't do anything special. I didn't add a plastic cap. I just left my hair as is. And now I'm going to hop into the shower and rinse it out. So y'all just saw me renting out the clay mask. Listen, this clay mask, this clay wash from Chocolate Kinks and Curls, I think this might be one of my favorites from them so far. Like I've used a lot of their clays in the past, but this one, it hit different. There's something about this clay mask that's just a little bit, it, it did something for me, y'all. It did something for me. Like look, first of all, look at my definition okay we're gonna talk about that because as i was rinsing out my hair not only did it feel really soft but i felt my definition like i felt my curls clump a little bit more i felt them it just it just felt different right so y'all look at how like I don't even want to put deep conditioner on my hair right now. Like, I feel like I'm done with my wash day. I'm gonna deep condition, but I just want to state that if I didn't have to deep condition, this, my hair, my hair looks fine. Like, my hair looks great. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed a little. Like, I'm a little obsessed. Like, this came out really, really well. Now, look at my scalp, y'all. I think this did a decent job. I can't see... I can't see too well on this side. I feel like it did a good job cleansing my roots and everything. I can't tell, but I think my scalp looks clean. <laughs> but y'all, first of all, look, look at the definition and how fluffy my hair. All right, all right. So my first impression of this product, 10 out of 10, like I, I don't know if you can tell, but I really like this. Like, I really, really, really like this. Um, but yeah, now it's time to deep condition. Let me get myself together. Um, <laughs> I got this at TJ Maxx for $10.99. And yeah, this is a, I believe this is a 12 ounce, yeah, 12 ounce container. Some of the products in here are water, honey, aloe vera juice, olive oil, jojoba oil. Now I am noticing a lot of cones in here so these might be silicones when it comes to ingredients i try to be mindful about the kind of you know ingredients that i like using in my products i don't use silicones for the most part at least i try not to in the beginning of my natural hair journey i didn't know too much about proper ingredients and silicones and sulfates and all that for the most part i don't think i use any silicones in my products um at least in the most recent years i don't think i have um but for this video and also in this product i know that um i know that this product has a lot of different cones i'm guessing the and i'm guessing the cones are the silicones correct me if i'm wrong but i think the cones in here are silicones so if you're not someone who likes to use silicones or um there's something else in here i i'm not gonna try to pronounce um so if you're more ingredient conscious maybe this product wouldn't be for you even though it might have good benefits like i said y'all i haven't used this in years so i don't remember i do remember hearing though people talk about the slip in this product and how hydrating and moisturizing it is so that's what i'm trying to see today but yeah if you're more conscious of what the ingredients are if you don't want to use silicones maybe this deep conditioner wouldn't be for you now be because for the most part I use natural 
products or products with more natural ingredients i don't mind from time to time dabbling in something that has silicone or sulfates it's because i don't use them often i try you guys know for the most part you guys have seen the kind of products that i like to use in my stash so you guys have an idea of the kind of products that i normally gear towards i'm not i'm not leaving my natural ayurvedic and all those kind of things i'm not leaving that behind but there are some times there's certain products i want to revisit just just to see just to, you know dip my toe in a little bit and see what it's like and then run back um so <laughs> for this deep conditioner there's definitely silicones in here but yeah like i said if you don't mind that then we're good let me stop chatting and get to this hair so my hair is already drying up so i'm going to just section it off real quick and apply some water to it because i feel like it's not as damp Okay. Also, something else I wanted to mention real quick. This is my hair from doing the um, clay mats, right? Look at the shrinkage. Like, my hair shrunk up so much. Like, wow. Like, this, the clay did something because look at the shrinkage. And, like, I wish y'all could feel how fluffy and, like, it's just, it's, it's just air. There's just air in my hair right now. Ooh, that rhyme. <laughs> But I just wanted to mention that I have a lot of shrinkage and my hair just feels, my hair feels good. Apply the water to this section. Now I'm gonna take a generous, ooh yeah, this feels soft. I'm gonna take a generous amount of the deep conditioner. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells, it smells fruity. It smells fruity, but it's not like a, it's not it's it's not it's not um it's not unpleasant but it is it is a little strong so I'm gonna take the deep conditioner and massage that through so far so good I feel like I need to damp this section again Alright, so I just applied the deep conditioner to this section right here. So far, so good. I do notice that it has slip, but not as much. Consistency in this deep conditioner, it is on the thicker side. I'm still able to apply it, but I feel like something's missing. So after I apply this deep conditioner, I'm gonna actually go ahead and sit under my hooded steamer to get some steam going for some extra moisture. So I'm hoping that helps to elevate the deep conditioner a little bit more because right now it feels good but it's not it's not giving me what I'm looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying it and then come back and show y'all what my hair looks like just got done applying the deep conditioner and I have some updates so I noticed that the deep conditioner applied even better as I applied more water to my hair so you know I was saying that earlier y'all when you're washing or deep conditioning or whatever sometimes if you feel like the product isn't working maybe your hair is more dry than you realize that's what just happened to me so the more water i applied to this side of my hair the more i was able to do a little bit more detangling as you guys saw so definitely keep that in mind whether you're using this deep conditioner or like i said before any kind of cleanser or styling product or whatever make sure you work on wet to damp hair because i just noticed that with this product at first i was feeling like on this side that it wasn't really doing too much i didn't feel like i could detangle as much but as soon as i started applying more water to this 
side, I felt a little bit different. So keep that in mind. If you're using this deep conditioner or other deep conditioners in the future, now that I'm all done applying the deep conditioner, I'm going to sit under my steamer just to get some steam going and also feel like adding some heat might help the product absorb better because I can still see some of the deep conditioner on my hair, which is fine, but I also feel like it has the potential to absorb even more. I have low porosity hair, so normally I like to add some kind of heat to my deep conditioning sessions. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And after I sit under the steamer for a few minutes, I'm going to twist my hair and then add on my plastic cap to continue deep conditioning for a little bit more after that too. But yeah, y'all, so far so good. Make sure you work in sections to apply the deep conditioner well, and also make sure that your hair is soaking wet or completely soaking wet while applying this product. an hour since I've been deep conditioning. You guys saw me sitting under my hooded dryer. I did that for about 20-25 minutes and then for the remainder of that I just put on my plastic cap and I've just been doing some chores around the house. So yeah now I'm ready to hop into the shower and rinse my hair out but y'all so far from sitting under the hooded dryer, I felt such a difference after letting the steam get into my hair and do its thing. Y'all, if you don't have a hooded dryer, a steamer, anything like that, or even a deep conditioning cap, definitely look into investing in one. Not only if you're low porosity, like I always say, I'm low porosity, so I always find that helpful, but just in general, just to see if that helps with your wash day, I've noticed such a difference with my moisture retention and keeping my hair supple and just hydrated. Sitting under a steamer or some kind of way to get heat into your hair as you're deep conditioning, however else you want to use heat in your routine, but doing that has been key. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the product has absorbed so much better. Like you can't see the deep conditioner as much as when I first apply it, which is a good sign. When you see the product disappear like that, or not disappear, but you know what I mean. When you see it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When you see it absorb, <laughs> that's the better word. When you see it absorb like that, that's a good sign. It means that your hair is properly moisturized and hydrated, and that's what we want to see. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to hop into the shower and rinse out this conditioner, and then figure out what I'm going to do with my hair after that. But y'all, so far, this wash day, this has been a really good wash day. Like, comment down below what you think of this wash day so far. Like, I am... I really like this wash day like I really I really like these products that I've used today and yeah I definitely need to revisit this combo for my wash day again just because I really enjoyed it hey y'all let me know what you think of this wash day so far if you've used any of the products that I used today this Terra black clay and maki berry clay wash from chocolate kings and curls and this honey miracle hair mask from TGIN I'm trying to figure out and understand why it took me so long to use these products. When I tell you this was an excellent, excellent wash day, I'm not even kidding. Like, I went into this wash day not really, I didn't have a lot of expectations. I didn't have a lot of expectations, let's just say that. I was just kind of, you know, going with the flow and just hoping for a good wash day. But the way these products just came through like this is not sponsored this is not a sponsored video although chocolate kinks and curls tgin i mean i've been rocking with chocolate kinks and curls for years now so if you ever want to sponsor a video i wouldn't be upset this is not a sponsored video like this is my genuine reaction from using this clay mask and deep conditioner i don't think y'all understand how good my hair looks right now and I'm sorry I don't mean to sound I'm not trying to sound like that but like <laughs> look at my hair it feels so good and hydrated my curls feel plump and juicy y'all this is one of the best wash days 
wow this is one of my best wash days so far i've had a lot of good wash days but like this one surprised me because literally i didn't know what to expect so let me know what y'all think of the products that i used today have you used this clay mask before or this deep conditioner let me know your thoughts on how my wash day turned out using these products both products are from black owned women owned companies so check them out if you are interested like i said this is not a sponsor video this is just my genuine reaction to these products and I'm blown away like my hair feels I wish y'all could feel how soft and fluffy and like look at the definition there's nothing in my hair like I literally just rinsed out the deep conditioner out of my hair like my hair feels like a cloud it feels fluffy my scalp feels good like it's airy there's movement like this was a very very good wash day i'm i'm happy <laughs> but yeah y'all that's it for today's video let me know what you think of the products that i use and how my hair is looking after this very bomb wash day um so yeah, i'm gonna go and try to figure out what to do with my hair but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know your thoughts on the products that i use and if you have other suggestions or other products you'd like to see me try out thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you next time.